Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, you know, I'm not telling you something you don't already know, but there's a lot of weird things going on in this country. And uh, the one thing, one thing that everyone needs to understand is force, force rules. Uh, I saw a thing, they had some general guy that was talking about this uh, uh, being sensitive, racial sensitive, sensitivity or some kind of crap like that. And he's talking about that and how they need to be more sensitive in the military. Uh, he, that, that particular general, is a real wuss. And I'll tell you, if they're gonna be like that, our military, forget the military. The military is a bunch of wusses. Uh, now, I was in the Marines, uh, 67, 68, and first part of 69. Racial problems were big time. I mean, I could tell you all kinds of stories about what was going on in racial problems. And uh, not in the military. Uh, the one thing you learn in the military is that guy next to you, it don't matter what color he is, uh, you need him. And he needs you just as bad. And uh, so, uh, now I'm not saying there wasn't any racial problems because these civilians would come in, I was, don't forget, I was in the Marines, combat Marines. As they come in to the military, they got this same attitude that they had when they were walking on the streets uh, attacking other people. They have that attitude when they come into the Marines. Now, Marines, combat Marines, this is what we do. We attack other people. It doesn't matter uh, how well armed they are, it doesn't matter how many there are, it doesn't matter what country they're in, it doesn't matter nothing. And uh, so these people will come in and we gotta fix them. <laughs> And the Marines fixes people. Uh, it'll, you will change your attitude. Uh, now I don't know about the new, new uh, uh, socially accepted uh, Marines. I don't know about them. We weren't socially accepted. Uh, you've heard stories about the crazy Vietnam Marines. And uh, if, if we're sitting down face to face, I'll tell you some stories and you'll figure out real quick why these stories came around. I did stuff that it was, you just don't do that stuff in a civilized world. Now, when there's racial problems, it's not a civilized world. That's what you're seeing now. Things are getting crazy. The military, uh, okay, we know we've lost uh, FBI, CIA, Homeland Security, um, government. <laughs> We've lost government. They really don't give a shit about us. Um, military is the thing that's, I think it's funny, is they're trying to wussify all these guys. And if you take military and you make them a bunch of wusses, you don't have a military. They're trying to weaken down our military because our military is what gives us strength throughout the world. Now we like our military, why? Because our military doesn't work inside the United States. You don't, you've never had to, more likely, you've never had to deal with the military. Uh, I go to countries in which you have the police and you have military uh, checkpoints. And you might be stopped here and you just look down the road and you'll see another checkpoint. One's army or one's uh, military and one is police. They, 
they have so much corruption they are so weak and this is what this is how they uh, show that they are strong to the civilians to keep them in line we don't want the civilians getting all uppity you know so that's why they do that they, they keep them in fear that's what you see these foreign people you notice how obedient they are okay I'll tell you there's a reason for that uh, the countries that they come from these these people are wimps and uh, they're treated like that they don't know any better I've talked about uh, we're all created equal but we make decisions when we were young no, I'm gonna be stupid I'm gonna do as I'm told we make these decisions in the United States we me and I'm sure my generation we didn't make those decisions the decisions we made is we want to think we want to learn we want to know there wasn't nothing about I want to be a wuss no we thought about what can we do to be strong we want to be strong so we can uh, better our lives oh, being strong and better your life yeah because when you're weak you take the crumbs that are give or they're dropped out and you get those that's what happens in these in uh, foreign countries they think uh, to get money they need a piece of the pie and well right now they're kind of young and stupid so now they're taking crumbs and what do they want to do they want to get violent they want to get mean and nasty so then they can have a bigger piece of the pie but they missed out on that's not what does it <laughs> you know so this is one of the reasons why you hear me talk about here in the United States you need to be moral and you have to understand the Constitution the Constitution is giving us it tells us the responsibilities that we have it doesn't say anything about the government other than they are limited <laughs> to, to the Constitution we're not we can do more the government can't that's why uh, they don't want the Constitution they're trying to get rid of the Constitution and they're trying to make, get rid of it by making everybody so damn weak and stupid they believe this crap no we are strong we are we are the backbone of the United States now yes once we lose our military we're gonna lose the military strength throughout the world yes I understand that now Americans have guns and some of us are smart enough on how to use them this is why I'm doing classes teaching people how to use them it's not you got a gun look I'm a badass I got a gun I mean, those are the kind of people I walk all over all the time these people are used to work uh, to stomping on wimps they don't realize somebody real manly can beat the hell out of them and take their goddamn gun a gun is just a tool but that tool if we the people know how to use that tool we the people are the the strength of this nation not the military sure the hell not the government I mean how I don't know how much dealings you have to do with the government I when I was in business all the time I was always having to deal with people that I represent the government I represent this county I represent the state I represent the federal government like what the hell does that mean oh you're you're too wussy to do anything by yourself you need them to help you you know, I mean you you're just you're just a peon in their big old organization you know what I mean and if we choose to go along with that crap then we made that decision we're stupid you don't want to be stupid you want to think you want to have the tools you want to have the abilities to do what you have to do morally we have moral responsibilities they're lucky there's a constitution kinda 
gives me a constitutional duty on what I need to do. But you can get rid of the Constitution. After you get rid of the Constitution, now you got to deal with my morals. <laughs> Believe me, you don't want to deal with my morals. And I've learned to use my morals. I stand behind my morals. And this is the part that they don't understand because they don't believe in God. They have no morals. You can tell that by the kind of stuff that they say, they act, they want to do. I would say it's really difficult to work for the government because the government is an immoral identity. I mean, it's nothing. And now, I mean, it's, it's evolved into a bunch of Satans. You know, I mean, Satan, not Satan, 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 devils. I mean, they, they, they have no respect for we, the people. We are the ones that control ourselves, our own lives. We don't be so stupid as to listen to them. This is why I was getting excited when people were wearing a mask and doing, what the hell? Are you so stupid you're going to listen to these people? These people that have lied and deceived us, the government, Name me one thing that the government has done right. They don't do anything right. Nothing right at all. As long as they stay away from us, we the people, then we have a, a chance to do things. But they got to get into our business and try to tell us what to do. Like they know. They don't know. Just because they've got force behind them, they think they can tell us what to do. But remember, we, we the people, we are the force of this nation. You need to have the tools and have the education, learn. I'm not the only one like me. There's a lot of people like me out there. And learn. And people like me need to teach. Uh, I, was, I was trying to stay in the closet. I didn't want people to know so much about me. But if you, you've seen my videos, the places I've been, the stuff that I do, it's not just stumbling around. <laughs> this is Mike, nostressmike.com.